This is a review for the Dyson V12 Detect Slim. The V12 has more power than most other cordless vacuums we've tested. It has a measured airflow of 45 CFM and a measured suction of 90 inches of water lift. The V12 is also able to maintain high airflow and suction over time because it uses multiple cyclones to filter out fine debris before it can reach and clog up its pre-motor filter. This was well demonstrated in our flower clock test. The V12 picks up the flower without issue and almost no flower deposits on its pre-filter. Compare this result to that of a vacuum that doesn't have multiple cyclones. This shark, for example, also picks up the flower without issue, but a large portion of the flower it picks up deposits on its pre-filter. This results in reduced suction over time, and to restore suction, more maintenance is required. The filter has to be cleaned and or replaced. The Dyson loses suction much more slowly, if it does at all, and requires much less filter maintenance. When it comes to surface level debris pickup, cleaner head design is even more important than power. The V12's cleaner head is optimized for deep cleaning. There are only a few small grooves on the front of the cleaner head. This design creates a very good seal to the floor, but limits the vacuum's ability to pick up large debris. In our carpet stress test, the V12 didn't have any trouble picking up small pieces of debris, but pushed forward some of the larger debris. In our hard floor stress test, it again did fine with fine debris, but on this surface, it pushed forward a large quantity of larger debris. The debris gets stuck to the front of the cleaner head on the push forward and stays stuck on the pull backward. To remedy this issue, you can drop down the cleaner head directly over large debris, or you can swap out the vacuum's multi-floor cleaner head with an included soft roller cleaner head. With a soft roller head equipped, the V12 gets excellent pickup of fine and large debris on hard floors. The Detect soft roller also illuminates what would otherwise be non-visible fine debris on hard floors. When it comes to deep cleaning, the V12 does very well. In our carpet deep clean test, it picked up 80% of debris after being pushed back and forth three times over an area of carpet embedded with fine debris. This ties the V12 with several other cordless vacuums for having the best result in this test. The V12 also performed very well in our hard floor crevice test. It cleans the crevice in about nine passes. This is only a few passes more than the best performers in this test. Battery life is another point of strength for the V12. It was tested to run for up to 23 and a half minutes on medium power, and on medium, it maintains excellent pickup performance. For example, its carpet deep clean pickup only drops down to 70% on medium versus 80% pickup on high. The V12 also features a swappable battery. It doesn't come with an extra battery, but you do have the option of buying an extra battery and swapping out batteries to increase overall runtime. The V12 also performed very well in our debris containment test. We didn't observe any debris leaking or exhausting out of the vacuum during this test. In our long hair pickup tests, the V12 tangled with only a few strands of 8 inch long hair, but 50 to 60% of 14 inch long hair. The 8 inch result is obviously a very good, better than average result. The 14 inch result is right around an average result when it comes to tangling percentage. It's a worse than average result when you take into account where the tangling takes place. Most of the hair tangles around the vacuum's brush roll, and this hair is easy to remove. But some hair also tangles around this area of the cleaner head, and this hair is especially difficult to remove. Ease of use is a mixed bag for the V12. On one hand, it has very strong positives in the category. It features a very slim and light body that weighs in at only 3.2 pounds. The V15's main body, for comparison, is close to 40% heavier, weighing in at 4.4 pounds. The V12's light body greatly improves handling and makes it especially easy to use in handheld mode. The main downside of this design is drastically reduced bin size. The V12's measured bin volume is only 150 milliliters versus 500 milliliters for the V15. Look at how quickly the V12's bin fills up in this test. The V15 is able to pick up much more debris before it needs to be emptied. When it comes to controlling the vacuum, the V12 again does well. Here, it features an improved design compared to the V15. It has an on-off button. Pressing the button once powers the vacuum on and keeps it on. You have to constantly pull on the V15's trigger to keep it powered on. As a final note, the V12 doesn't stand up on its own, but it does come with a wall dock that also charges the vacuum when it's docked. It also features accessory storage on the wall dock. Summarizing the pros and cons for this vacuum, we do like how powerful it is. 
the V12 has well above average tested airflow and suction. It's also able to maintain high suction over time. It features 11 cyclones that filter out fine debris before it can reach and accumulate on its pre-filter. This vacuum also does very well cleaning carpet. It does especially well deep cleaning carpet. The V12 also cleans hard floors very well with its soft roller cleaner head. The soft roller's detection feature also makes a huge difference, helping you identify parts of the floor that may not be completely clean while you're vacuuming. The vacuum is also very lightweight and easy to control. On the negative side of things, the V12 doesn't pick up large debris well on hard floors with its standard multi-floor cleaner head. It also struggled a bit tangling with especially long hair in our long hair pickup tests. By far the biggest negative for this vacuum though is its tiny dustbin. The manufacturer lists a bin volume of 0.09 gallons, which equates to 340 milliliters. We measured its bin volume to its maximum fill line at only 150 milliliters. Regardless of whether you use manufacturer specifications or our own measured value, the V12's bin is very small. And this brings us right into our general recommendations. The V12's tiny bin will only be manageable if you vacuum frequently and have an especially small space to vacuum. If so, the V12 is an excellent option, and it's recommended over larger Dysons like the V8, V10, and V15. Otherwise, if you vacuum infrequently or have a larger space to vacuum, these other Dysons are recommended over the V12. The V8 is a better budget option, the V10 is a better mid-range option, and the V15 is a superior premium option. See the description of this video for the latest updated list of all of the cordless vacuums we recommend, and thank you for watching.